Okay, today I'm building a, uh, a frame. I'll show you how I'm putting that together. Um, what we have here is two side pieces, um, the top bar, and then a bottom, uh, bottom to that. So it'll look kind of like this when put together. Um, this is for a standard Langstroth hive. Um, this is a, uh, I'm pretty sure this is a deep, uh, a deep box, so deep frames on here. Um, I have nails provided by uh, the store where I bought this. I'm not really sure the size here, but uh, there's two different sizes. Maybe I can measure them for you. Um, this looks to be um, one and a quarter inch, and these ones, the smaller ones that will hold the uh, foundation in place, are three quarter inch. So. Um, those are the two sizes. Uh, I won't be putting in foundation today, but I'll show you how, how we put together a frame. Um, I do have instructions here provided uh, by the store, but uh, I'll, I'll show you here. This is, uh, it's they're pretty much impossible to read, and um, I've actually deciphered on the back some of the instructions. So I've put one of these together already and um, wanted to put, put one together to show you. So the first thing we have um, is the top bar and typically these have a, a wedge included. So um, I'll show you, this is the, the wedge and it's actually just attached by a little, uh, little piece of wood. It's not completely sawed through. So. Um, I just have a standard utility knife and uh, I just split that down and this actually pops right off. So we want to save that for later because this is what's going to attach our uh, foundation to the frame. So just uh, trim some of that. I'll set that to the side. Um, these are the side pieces. Again, I'll show you a close up of that. Um, so pretty much there's a, an opening at the top, an opening at the bottom, um, and uh, some holes down the side. Now when we do it, we want the, uh, the widest portion here at the top, and then the, the narrow portion at the bottom. So what you can do is um, you can just dry fit everything, make sure you know that it, there's nothing really extraordinarily wrong with it. Um, the bottom piece I should mention right here is actually grooved. Um, from my research, there are two parts, or two two different types. There's a, a grooved portion which has a groove that runs the length, like that, um, and there's also a split bar, um, which just has it's actually two pieces and it's opened at the bottom, uh, allowing the foundation to hang right through. Um, I didn't really have an option for this because it was a, a Christmas gift, but we'll. Uh, so we have grooved to deal with. I don't know actually which one's better. Um, I've heard uh, several people say different things, but um, so that's a dry fit of the frame, um, and then the wedge piece later on will go, you know, back in place where we cut it off. Um, so it looks good. Now, what we will do? I have some glue here. So um, everywhere that I've read says to put a little bit of glue. Uh, to hold everything in place. And we're going to be using the uh, larger nails. Uh, I believe I said, uh, what were these again? Inch and a half? Or oh, inch and a quarter. So we're going to be using the inch and a quarter nails. And they're going to be going through directly through the top um, and the bottoms. So um, we'll keep those to the side. And basically, I'll just pop this all apart. Um, I'll just leave it um, slightly put together so that all we have to do really is press it once the glue's in. So, okay. So we just have standard uh, woodworking glue uh, available at many stores, hardware stores everywhere. Um, you don't want to use too much of this, but it is a good idea because it, um, it will just solidify things a bit. 
Okay, so I'm just going to separate this slightly. I'm going to put a tiny drop here. Not too much. Um, again, I'll show you that. Uh, I'll show you that close up. So, um, if you can see in there, just let it focus. It's a tiny little puddle. Um, and that's just going to hold, hold everything locked in place once we get going. So there's one top side. Another top side, flip it over. And you can see I'm not putting in too much, just just enough to kind of lock it, but not enough to get in the way of the bees when they're actually drawing out their foundation. Um, and there's also going to be nails on this too, so, um, so that's it, locked in place. I have a little... Um, Four inch square that I like to use for this. Um, again, Lee Valley is where I pick this up. So as we're working the whole time, you want to make sure that everything is completely square, and that's just going to help everything line up once it's in the hive. So I'm just checking every corner, and again, we're going to check once the uh, once the nails start going in. Okay, looks good. And last but not least, the, we're going to take uh, two nails and we're going to nail them in every joint. So um, what I'm going to do is, uh, you want to nail them straight down through the top. I'll show you in a second where I'm nailing it. Being careful not to break out the sides. So, um, here's a close up. If we can focus. I don't know if this is. So there's one. And, uh,. We do two in each corner, so we'll do that. Put it down, check for square again. Now that we have nails going in this, the things are going to start to tighten up. So slightly out of square here, but we still can bend it. Um, so we'll fix that. Um, I'll go to the opposite corner now, and I'm sure it doesn't really matter which order you do these in. Just make sure that everything's nice and tight, that there's no gaps, um, that your glue is right in the corners. So and these ones, same thing. I'm going right through the top and bottom bar into the sides. Um, and this one, because it's grooved, the bottom here has a tendency to split a bit, but um, I think it's okay with the, with the glue in there and everything else. Um, it shouldn't be a problem. So um, we'll just check for square one more time. And we're looking good. Um, I'll just show you what I mean by, by splitting. Uh, let's so you can see kind of the end grain there of the, the bottom bar and it's slightly split, but that paired with the glue that's in there, uh, we should be okay. Um, so, two more in the top, two more in the bottom, and then we're done. That one looked like it was coming through the side a bit, but we look okay. And the last one here. Okay, and that's it, really. Um, everything's square, 
everything's nice. Um, two nails in the top, two nails in the bottom. Uh, this is again for a grooved uh, bottom, not a split bottom. And uh, we have our wedge piece, which I'm going to keep with us for later when we start uh, putting foundation in. But that's basically how you build a single frame. And uh, we only have nine more to go for the box, and then however many boxes you want to do. So that's it. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to follow my blog, it's bees.chrisinch.com. Thanks a lot. Bye.